I can't stand authoritarianism. I can't stand it when people get squashed into conformity just because the other side isn't comfortable with having the argument. Mm -hmm. Turning to your question, Britain's in a parlous state when it comes to freedom of speech now. It's almost a badge of honor to silence the opposition. Two examples, with the green agenda, you're called a climate change denier if you say that you don't think human beings are wrecking the planet. Now, there are two things wrong with that. I actually think that the climate change deniers are the people who think that we can stop climate change. I think it's a naturally occurring process. But instead, we've got this Holocaust illusion to people who, uh, like me, think that the science just doesn't support the climate agenda. And yet, even the BBC, the state-sponsored station, has said, we don't have to have balance on this. We're not going to take the contrary view. A second example would probably be the woke agenda where uh, sexual and gender politics has occupied center stage for a lot of the time. You've got a man who wants to be prime minister, Keir Starmer, who says that 99.9% .9 of women don't have a penis. It's an awkward statement to begin with. But secondly, I think, well, how did he do that research? And more than anything, what does he mean by it? Now, I used to be one of the judges on the UK Transsexual Awards, and I have no issue with anyone's gender, but I do have an issue when British politics becomes a virtue-signaling woke situation where it's almost impossible to express a contrary view without being cancelled. 